Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the removing background and how to add the sky which is artistic and more creative than the previous. So let's see the previous image was like that and this stock image I downloaded from the devener.com and I just made it like that. So what I have done here, let's see. So I'm turning off the things like this, this, this and this portion and this portion as well so this one was our image and after that i added a uh, sky and removed the girl from this background that means you have to make it separate from the background this girl so i made it like that okay after that i blurred the background and i match the background with the sky and here the sea beach and here after that we got that and after that we got a color correction and i'm copying that color code for you guys and i'll give you that color code to you in my video description so i'm just copying that and after that i use a gradient in a lower portion of the photo and then i use extra light and then i use a level and after that i just merged it out and then i just added a preset or whatever you can tell that is from the google nick collections and after that i got this result from here to here so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and daily tutorials so let's see the process let's work with that go to the file and open up here is my stock image i downloaded this one devina.com and if you want to get the download link and resource file download link please check out my video description and at first i'll crop it out here a lower portion the copyright or other stuffs and credit lines and then go to the crop tool here and just i'll crop it out i'll make this like that okay that's fine and make copy by pressing ctrl j of this photo layer and then i'll separate the world from the background and you can use any kind of selection tool like a pen tool or quick selection tool but i'm using here quick selection tool here you can press the w from the keyboard and you can get that so here the select and mask portion and here the plus option is selected and select this girl and when you are selecting be careful and select uh, the portions whatever you want and if you want to deselect any portion press the alter button that's good and now i'll go to the select options and select and mask options press the shift button and hold it you'll get the previous window like uh, creative cloud 15 or 16 so from here i'm using the transparent options for this just because of i want to make it transparent so after that, you can use the black here you can just refine the edges where you want so if you want to make the brush size bigger you have to press the third bracket closing from the keyboard and you can refine the edges which is like that so that's fine and the setup will be like that the smoothing 6 feather 2.5 contrast 17 and edge shifting minus 10 you can just adjust all the things you have that assumption for your photography purpose so i'm just shifting the edges and refining the edges which one is like that and that portion yeah that's good okay just select here go to this portion uh, layer with the new layer mask and hit the ok button you'll get transparent background photo so it's taking time to load it up and it depends on your pc configuration so that's fine i got the photo like that yeah that's good and after that i'll turn off this and turn on this layer and i'm just giving name bg bg for the background and this one is girl giving the name g r l girl okay that's fine press the control button and hold it and select this mask the 
photo or selection will appear again and turn off this layer guard layer select the bg layer and go to the select option again and modify and then expand this one so i'm just taking here at 50 expand resolution or pixels and hit ok and after that go to the edit options and fill options and select here from content viewer and hit ok so i want to remove the girl from the background and i'll merge the sky over here so press ctrl d for the deselect the selection and here is some portion left go to the the spot healing brush tool and just select this area and drag it and it will gone okay that's fine now i'll just select this background and go to the file and just place embedded options from here i just got sky from deviant.com give you the download link and i'll select this one okay that's fine and hit the tick button after that select the bg layer and mask it and go to the gradient options and select this gradient that's fine and just mask it out so that's fine yeah you can remove the sky or you can adjust the sky or whatever you want so i'll make the sky like that so this one is good yeah that's fine so if you need you can adjust the mask if you need to adjust that you can do that okay that's fine so i'm selecting this bg layer and sky this one is sky layer and this one bg layer so i'll select these two and make it match by pressing ctrl e and after that turn on this layer okay that's fine and now i'll just blur this one i'll apply tilt shift blur so go to the filter and from here the blur gallery from here tilt shift so i'm making the photo like yeah fit with the skin and turn the center point in a downside and then i'll blur it out like 80 or approx 85 that's fine you can adjust the blur according to that yeah that's fine and i'll turn the blur like that okay that's good and hit okay so it will take time to load it up, up and make the background blur and that is the tilt shift blur and it's look like a focus in a full model and the other thing is blur like that okay that's fine and now just i'll select these two things and then i'll add the color code which is that so this one copying this one and after that go to the adjustment layer and go to the solid color and ctrl v i'll paste it out and go to the blending mode make it soft light so it will be like that and then just select this mask and make it black like that so select this girl okay that's fine and now you can just brush over here so go to the brush tool and select the first one brush hardness zero percent and size of the brush 400 pixel and then i'll make the opacity down and flow down and i'll just just brush in a face and this portion only not any other portion that's good okay that's fine press ctrl d for the deselect this portion and after that take a new blank layer and go to the foreground color take a color like that that is color code like this and i'm copying this one and pasting for you guys and i'll provide that color code for the light so after that go to the again brush tool and select once before that check out the opacity 100 percent and make the flow 100 percent and select once press ctrl t and make it bigger so that's fine and hit the tick button and then go to the blending mode make it like a screen that's fine and if you need you can adjust the lights or other stuff like that okay and that's good yeah and go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels and you can adjust the light and other stuff so it will be amazing yeah that's fine so select all the layers make it group and make it match now i will apply the effects from the nick collection so let's see the before one and after one 
we are almost done actually go to the nick collection and color effects pro 4 so nick collection is another filter or plugins of the photoshop you are getting you're getting here bunch of presets and bunch of uh, effects here so i am using the cross processing this one and lots of method over here and you can use one of them which one is perfect for your photography but in this case i'm using l02 and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and give you the output that's good so it's almost done that's fine yeah and lower portion i'll use the gradient so go to the adjustment layer again and go to the gradient so take the gradient which is like that and i'll adjust the gradient like so lower portion will be like a little bit darker so and hit ok button so let's see the before one was like that and afterward you are getting like amazing fantastic look so you can add another gradient map so go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient map you can use any kind of gradient i'm using this one so go to the blending mode and make it soft light and to make it the feel a little bit only 10 percent that will be amazing so you're getting amazing look of the photo so before one was like that and after one you are getting like that you can make your photograph more amazing by using these techniques and steps so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with a friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and new videos and until the next video i am asmanip signing out today bye bye